dear friends welcome back to chenagiri's nursing education tutorials in recent days i have received a comment from my channel follower that can i make the lecture video on healthcare delivery system i am very much thankful to all my channel followers for their constant support and encouragement here i am trying my level best to explain the things in simple and modest way to understanding level of the viewers of my channel i am very much happy to receive the positive as well as negative comments from the viewers which will help me to make my lecture better day by day yes friends one of my channel follower asked me to make video on healthcare delivery system and here i am trying my level best to make understand the subject to all my channel viewers so friends if you have not yet subscribed the channel please subscribe it now and do not forget to press the bell icon to get regular notification whenever i upload the video and also share the video to your friends and ask them to subscribe the channel so friends let us begin with today's session that is organization and administration of health system in india part 1 before going to main topic let us understand the preamble of health administration system constitutionally every individual in india has the right of availing health services to protect his or her health as everybody's basic right of being healthy yes who all are born on this earth wants to live healthy work healthily earn healthily and die without much difficulty in each and every moment of his or her life span hence indian constitute also says the same thing and to this effect the government of india has developed health administration machinery and mechanism to plan organize and deliver healthcare services to the people in rural and urban areas for the purpose of achieving health goals and dealing with health subjects health services are designed to meet the health needs of the community through the use of available knowledge and resources it is not possible to define a fixed role for health service when the socio economic pattern of each country differs so much from one another the health services are delivered by the health system which constitutes the management sector and involves organizational matters before proceeding further let us see the meaning and definition of health administration first we will discuss regarding the meaning of health administration health administration is a branch of public administration which deals with matters relating to the promotion of health preventive services medical care rehabilitation and the delivery of health services the development of health manpower medical education and training here we can focus the three major terms that is number 1 preventive service means to prevent the disease before it occurs we may say here the government must take step to prevent the diseases by immunization provision of sanitation programs vector control programs etc second one is curative services that is the provision of treatment facilities through pscs chcs district health centers etc the third one is rehabilitative services that is occupational therapy centers after recovery of patient from major illness not only this the government must take the step to develop health manpower such as doctors nurses paramedical staff through teaching and training centers once we understand the meaning of health administration it is very easy to understand the definition of health administration let us see the definition that is Public health administration is the science and art of organizing and coordinating government agencies whose purpose is to improve the physical, mental and social well-being of people. It aims at the pre prevention of disease, preservation and promotion of health. I hope all of you have understood the definition of health administration 
and next we will see the objectives of health administration the objectives of health administration are as follows number 1 to increase the average length of human life here average length means duration of life means how many years the common man can able to lead his life from his birth to till his death and we can also say it as life expectancy rate at present in india the life expectancy rate is 68 years for male as and 65 years for female it does not mean that each and everybody will die at 65 to 68 years of their life it is an average life span of people of the country and next objective is to decrease the mortality and morbidity rates here the government must take some action to reduce death rate as well as disease rates among the population the death rates and disease rates as we compare to developed countries the india's death rate is high and as per rate of communicable diseases are high rather than the non communicable diseases the next objective is to increase the physical mental and social well being of the individual here the holistic approach should be made to achieve physical mental social and spiritual well being the next objective is to provide total health care to enrich quality of life here the government should make the provision of total that is promotive preventive curative and rehabilitative services the next objective is to increase the pace of adjustment of the individual to his environment yes environment varies time to time and place to place here government should educate the general population regarding healthy habits through health education the next objective is to make provision of primary health care services to everyone yes as we know primary health care is an essential health care and it should be reachable to each and every individual and each and every corner of the country next objective is to develop health manpower to provide services to the community yes it is the responsibility of the government to develop the health manpower through training and teaching centers and next one is to formulate health policies and their periodic revision from time to time yes policies should be formed and need revision from time to time as needs and demands of the population changes time to time and place to place so friends this is about the objectives of health administration and next we will see the principles of health administration and those are as follows The first principle of health administration is centralized direction and decentralized activity means whatever planning is to be made that will be made at the central level and its execution is done at peripheral that is activities will be carried out at district level next principle is when a special function is to be undertaken it should be undertaken by or in cooperation with the official body means if any special function that is related to plans and programs should be undertaken by itself or in cooperation with other official bodies next principle is there should not be duplication and overlapping in rendering services or such kind of services should be combined and next principle is treatment and prevention of diseases should be administratively combined means in single health center either it may be psc or csc or any other both that is preventive as well as curative services should be provided next principle is administration must be based on a sound economic consideration and practicable financial budgeting means whatever services the government is providing that must be based on sound economic consideration means their economical problem should not arise and planning should be done in accordance with available budget 
Next principle is a clear picture of the complete plan must be made before starting a program. Before starting any program, a blueprint that is plan should be kept ready. Next principle is a program of continuing staff education is essential. Whenever a new program is planned to implement in accordance with that, staff training program also should be arranged and staff must be given education continuously to upgrade their knowledge time to time. The next principle is program should be planned on a scientific priority basis. Means while planning the program, scientific principles or procedures should be kept in mind and must be implemented while planning the program. Next principle is periodic appraisal of services rendered effectiveness of the program and evaluation of the results is the major responsibility of the health administration. Yes, it means after implementation of any program, the results of the program must be evaluated periodically. Next principle is provision must be made for desirable working conditions for all members of the staff means who all are working in health sector those all should work peacefully without any hesitation. Next principle is there should be sound national health policy. Next principle of health administration is sound healthy administrative structures may be designed for the implementation of various health policies. Next one is there should be integration of preventive and curative services at all administrative levels. Next one is health should not be considered in isolation from other socioeconomic factors. Next one is Health opportunities need not be related to the purchasing power of the people. Next one is, health consciousness should be fostered through education and by providing opportunities for participation of people in the health programs. Next one is, all the systems of medicine must be encouraged to provide decent health to people in a coordinated fashion. Next and last one is, Health services should be organized from the bottom up and not from the top down. Friends, this is about principles of health administration and next we'll see the themes of health system. Those are as follows. Two major themes have emerged in recent years in the delivery of health services. Those are number one, the health services should be organized to meet the needs of entire population and not merely selected groups and should cover the full range of services including preventive, curative and rehabilitative which must be seen as part of the basic social service. The second one is the health service must provide healthcare to vast majority of underserved rural people and urban poor is to develop effective primary healthcare services supported by an appropriate referral system. With this regard, the government of India has evolved healthcare organization at the center, state, district and local level. Before going to healthcare delivery system, we must understand the model of healthcare delivery system. Let us see the model of healthcare delivery system. Rising cost in the maintenance of large hospitals and their failures to meet the total health needs of the community have led many countries to seek alternative models for effective delivery of healthcare services for their people. A number of models have been developed and one of the simplest model is shown in this figure. The model consists of four phases. Those are inputs, healthcare services, healthcare system and output. Here, the input means the health needs, problems and demands of the community and resources in terms of manpower, money, material and time utilized to meet the needs, problems and demands of the community people. Healthcare services means 
the curative preventive and promotive services provided to the community by health system here health system means these are the alternative systems of healthcare delivery means health services are provided through public sector that is psc csc district health hospitals or primary secondary and tertiary care centers and private dispensaries multi specialty hospitals etc and voluntary health agencies and indigenous system of medicines that is ayush that is ayurveda yoga yunani siddha and homeopathy medicine and hospitals output means these are the end results of healthcare services provided by the health systems to improve the health status of the community feedback this may help in improvement of services as evaluation of results will give the feedback of any program or services so friends this is about today's session and in next session we'll discuss about healthcare systems till that time take care and thank you for watching and listening my lecture thank you